what is HBOT and how will it change your life? I'm telling you, this one's worth not missing. Let's get into it. seven of my 44 pearls for health and fitness. I'm 71 years old, ladies and gentlemen. That is right. 71 years old, folks. And uh, HBOT is the reason I don't feel 71. HBOT, I'm telling you, maybe I could be a, a living myth. In all seriousness, HBOT is keeping me operating at a high level personally and professionally. It's an absolute game changer in my opinion. Now, let me just state, I'm not a doctor. This is for informational purposes only in my personal experience. So let's get into it. Many articles have been written of professional athletes using HBOT, HBOT to heal and improve performance. There is solid, solid empirical data that HBOT is effective. And you're probably asking, what is HBOT? I currently sleep in a hard hyperbaric oxygen chamber two days a week that I share with two other investors, one being a doctor where the HBOT is located. He is a medically trained um, hyperbaric oxygen therapy guru, and uh, he knows what he's doing. So when we get into it later, you know, why you need to be careful. So what is HBOT? You know, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, also known as HBOT, is a proven reliable treatment recognized by the American Medical Association. It enhances the body's natural healing process, bottom line, by providing the body with up to almost 200% the amount of oxygen. It is a rush, folks. I'm telling you. So using um, a hyperbaric chamber, high doses of oxygen is combined with increased atmospheric pressure. As a result, the body can absorb significantly more oxygen uh, than possible when breathing air at normal atmospheric pressure. So this you know, bottom line, hyper oxygenation helps fight bacteria, stimulate the release of growth factors, stem cells, creates growth of new blood vessels, and promotes healing up to 50% faster. So hyperbaric oxygen therapy, HBOT, involves breathing oxygen in a pressurized chamber in which the atmospheric pressure is raised up to three times higher than normal. So HBOT can be uh, used as a primary treatment or as adjunctive therapy to surgical and pharmaceutical agents, you always want to go slow. That's what I say. Start slow. Don't pop and top the meds or get surgery right away. So hyperbaric oxygen therapy, HBOT, is a medical treatment in which pure oxygen is inhaled for a prescribed period uh, in the context of a clinical setting. But as you know now, people are using them in their home on the soft side. Some have the hard, hard kind. We'll get into that. Uh, the oxygen is administered in pressurized chambers where patients breathe an atmospheric pressure up to three times higher than normal ambient air. So during the treatment, the, the amount of oxygen in the patient's bloodstream increases significantly in the press or in the, in when you're in that pressurized setting. Uh, the bottom line is oxygen molecules are delivered around the body at a rapid rate, absorbing into the plasma um, the tissues, and most importantly, your major organs. And that's where you want it. So when oxygen reaches damaged tissue or swollen arteries, it stimulates the release of healing chemicals, allowing the body to produce new cells and regulate itself from the inside out. So by enabling the growth of new cells, the HBOT has proven effective in treating wounds that normally you know, wouldn't heal due to poor circulation. It's hard to get in those deep muscles, those ligaments and tendons. And when you super oxygenate your body, healing is going to happen. So um, HBOT is not a topical oxygen therapy, sometimes called the it's a normobiotic oxygen NBOT. NBOT is the type of oxygen commonly used in hospitals and clinics for patients with lung or heart disease um, or a variety of other medical conditions. You know, it's basically, um, it's a gas mixture of prescribed uh, percentage of oxygen is given. It's given by the uh, nasal 
or a face mask uh, or even a tube and adjustments to the oxygen context are based on the clinical response. So the oxygen is delivered at normal ambient pressure. That's the key. That's the difference. It's only at normal ambient pressure. HBOT is given in two settings. It's, it's a mono place or it can be multiple place. A mono, um, a mono place chamber holds a single patient and the entire chamber is pressurized with 100% oxygen. Bam! It's a rush! So the patient directly breathes the chamber oxygen. This type of chamber is most appropriate for clinically stable patients with chronic medical conditions. A multiple place chamber can hold two or more uh, people. It is pressurized with uh, compressed air while patients breathe 100% oxygen via mask, what have you, or head hood, for example. So this, that allows closer monocline in a clinically, uh, for clinically ill patients in a, in a clinical setting. So how does this madness work? How does the hyperbaric oxygen therapy work? Um, when you kind of look at the big picture, oxygen makes up about, 30, about 21% of every breath we breathe. In a uh, hyperbaric setting, oxygen is hailed exclusively. So while in a um, hyperbaric chamber, the flow of pure oxygen is partnered with an increase of atmospheric pressure, the combination of oxygen and pressure causes a change in the way the body absorbs and distributes the inhaled air. So when we talk about athletes, we're all athletes if you work out, even if you're not getting paid for it. You know, performance may be an athlete's job, but physical maintenance and is the you know is the foundation of re of recovery. Um, think Tom Brady, how hard he works and what he does. So so how how could extra oxygen help? And even more than that, how could oxygen administer in a hyperbaric chamber help uh, for healing and improving athletic performance? Um, some of the benefits and. You know, I've read all the articles on athletes who swear by it and, and my personal use. I think, um, you know, feeling better after sleeping, number one, feeling more energy. Uh, you're going to recover faster from soreness, recovering faster from injuries, preventing injuries. And you're going to have sharpened mental clarity. Think of all that oxygen going through your body. Um, I got uh, kind of put together three big time benefits of hyperbaric chamber therapy. Uh, in my opinion, let's let's look into it. Number one, uh, HBOT helps heal challenging injuries. Um, as we all know, especially lower extremities, tendons, ligaments, hamstrings for guys uh, are extremely common in the world of sports. Uh, the majority of sports injuries are in the lower limb area. The most common are the, the ankle. Uh, they're time consuming and challenging to heal. Hamstrings are as well. And they can derail your, your athletic performance and plans for a long time. And HBOT, however, is an incredible resource for injuries in these areas of the body. Uh, hands down, um, number three, HBOT studies with athletes are limited but growing. In one study revealed HBOT shows particular promise for sports injuries involving areas of the muscle and that they have lower blood flow. So it's hard for blood and oxygenated blood to get in there. These include your ligaments, tendons, and bones. Um, so these areas can be especially challenging to heal, making HBOT a promising therapy option for bottom line speeding healing. Big number two, HBOT promotes the process needed to recover heavily, you know, use muscles. Muscles will recover. You work out hard, it's going to help you recover quicker to get back in the gym. So heavy exercise remodels your skeletal muscles, but overuse with intense training is leading to more soft tissue or damage. Um, and and long-term muscle use requires extra oxygen. So with HBOT therapy, both your blood and your tissues are supplemented with oxygen. This makes your muscles access that oxygen quicker. So there's no faster, more intense way to deliver so much oxygen to your cells. Uh, studies do support that HBOT accelerates your uh, you know, muscle tissue formation and soft tissue muscle injuries like bruising. So, you know, when you're 18 years old and you work it out, you can recover so quickly. That's what it's going to do. It's going to knock some years off. Number three, HBOT decreases inflammation. And this is key. After strenuous workouts, your body has an inflammatory response. This helps your muscles recover, but gives you soreness. It's also problematic if you need to perform soon after your previous workout. Too much swelling or constant state of swelling and frequent workouts puts your cells at risk or damage. I always sit in the tub, spa, after a workout for the inflammatory response. Uh, from the research, you shouldn't do the cold. You should start with the hot. The mechanisms aren't well understood, but HBOT has been shown to reduce inflammation. 
Uh, it helps break the cycle of inflammation, which keeps cells from becoming, uh, you know, oxygen starved from the swelling. Uh, this can benefit virtually any kind of tissue, whether it's, you know, healthy tissue uh, that's just needs rejuvenation or damaged tissue that needs uh, multidisciplinary therapy. HBOT can benefit both. Um, so probably all wondering, can I get a, you know, home hyperbaric chamber to boost my sports performance? Absolutely. There are some issues. Some medical professionals would not recommend it because of the auction. You'll blow up your house and there are some legal issues. Uh, that's why you see a lot of the athletes in pictures with the soft kind. I use the hard because it's hundred percent pure oxygen. So there's two types of chambers, the hard and soft, the soft, you know, are not as effective as the hard, a soft size chamber utilizes about 24% oxygen. You see, you know, like I said, you'll see a lot of these in the homes of people in pictures. So in contrast, when you see people, you know, transported in an ambulance and hooked up to the oxygen mass, they are receiving about 55% oxygen. Hard shell hyperbaric chambers deliver 100% pure oxygen. These uh, numbers don't even consider the pressure level differences. So soft, Soft-sided chambers known as mild HBOT or um, MHBOT are portable chambers uh, that seal with, a, you know, like a zipper, a tent. That, you know, they can reach pressure levels around 1.3 ATA and typically deliver 24% oxygen levels. Originally designed for divers, mountain climbers to use, um, you know, these hard, instead of that, because they can't use the hard-sized chambers. Uh, you know, the intention was never to use the soft side chambers for treatment. Um, probably the big difference from my research, the big difference between the hard and soft chambers comes with, you know, when we talk about the oxygen concentration in the body to get a better understanding, uh, you know, kind of look at how, you know, you're, you're breathing in room air with a concentration of about 21% oxygen, a soft side chamber use, utilizes 24% oxygen. In contrast, when you see people you know, transport an ambulance or hooked up, like I said, they're at about 55% oxygen. But if you're in a hard shell hyperbaric chamber, you're getting a hundred percent oxygen. So, you know, these numbers don't even consider the pressure level differences. So the home hyperbaric chambers that you can buy are soft chambers. You can, you know, if you're creative, you can get a hard chamber. These chambers have similar material to an inflatable tent, as I said, like an insulated, kind of like a cooler. Uh, they are FDA approved other than, you know, for rare cases like transporting, you know, you know, mountain climbers and hyperbaric chambers and people that get injured. So the soft chambers can be, you know, filled with oxygen, but the oxygen is barely pressurized. The pressure is not nearly enough to meet the recommended standards to be therapeutic in the medical community's opinion. The only benefit to these chambers is, uh, is breathing in the oxygen which is, which is good, which, which can be done more easily through, you know, probably your nasal canal, just having a, you know, a pure oxygen hooked up next to your bed. Uh, the hard chamber though, the pressure can be raised to the recommended 1.5 to 3 ATA. Uh, so to legally get a medical grade hyperbaric chamber, you have to, you know, jump through some hoops, safety hoops, not that hard because of, like I said earlier, the fire risk, these chambers need to pass many fire and health codes and the FDA requires a prescription for medical grade oxygen. Not a problem these days. So the real benefits of the hyperbaric therapy come from using, as I said, 100% oxygen in a hard shell chamber run by, you know, a certified technician. Like I said, my investor friend is a doctor, um, you know, so you can go to the hyperbaric faculties. They have them all over LA, for example, and, you know, do a session or two. I decided to invest with three other people. These the, high, the hard shells can run in the six figures range. Um, you know, it, bottom line is it significantly improved the quality of people's lives. Um, you know, where other types of therapies have failed, um, and I just see a lot of benefits with this. Um, I think there's about two thousand hospitals across the country that now offer hyperbaric oxygen therapy, and estimated about roughly six, seven hundred non-hospital based programs. As I said. Just like these vitamin drip centers, they have these hyperbaric centers where you can go in. Uh, but a lot of these um, centers, they have the tent, you know, like the tents, the zipper kind. Uh, if you really want the full effect and the benefit, it might be worth the extra money. You might have to pay for a session and do the hard and get 100% of the pure oxygen. Um, and, you know, these, the, the soft is beneficial too. You're getting 21%. You want to buy a tent one, 
I've seen them as low as 3,000. And then, like I said, they go up when you start getting into the hard chambers over six figures, 125 to $150,000. But, you know, the soft ones have gotten really um, innovative now, and there's some really good ones out there. So I, the takeaway is I don't want you to be like, oh, the soft are terrible. I th I've talked to people that use the soft. They say they get benefits out of it. I personally would not buy one all by myself. That's why I went in on with these doctors and these healthcare professional guys. Um, and, um, you know, but I think if I was going to do it myself, I, I would start with a, you start with a soft and there's some really, really good ones that I think might even deliver more than the 21%. And don't quote me on that, but I think they might deliver more than 21%. But like I said, when we talk about healing injuries, I have never been injured. I've been doing this for only a, only a few years. Um, I was fortunate enough, I think, early on to have a couple people that taught me how to work out correctly, very young. I mean, simple things, ladies and gentlemen, when you squat, your feet don't go over your knees. Right? I, mean, your, I mean, excuse me, your knees don't go over your feet. Uh, you know, proper form and technique. Um, you know, always stayed away from deadlifts. Always do it at the end of a back workouts and go lighter. It's a very awkward movement. One of the top strong men in the world does a great talk on it. Uh, but I remember working out with a, a really uh, professional bodybuilder guy in Spain. He told me, stay away from those if you're a bodybuilder. But we do them, but at the end of the workout, we're pre-exhausted and we don't go heavy. Um, but just learning those things early on, I never have had a knock on wood, a shoulder injury, a back injury. Uh, I've had ligament problems in my lower spine um, and stuff in my uh, hamstring, but never popped a hamstring, never popped an ankle, no rotator cuff. And I think I do a lot of warm up when I start, a lot of rotator cuff things every day with rubber bands. And hyperbaric chamber is part of my protocol. In the last couple of years, I've noticed a total difference in just the way I feel internally on the inside out. I think it's incredible. I mean, after you do a session of this, like in, only, in the hard shell, you're kind of like a little, because I, I sleep in it the whole night. I just don't do it for a couple hours. And you kind of feel a little, little groggy, but you're, and all of a sudden you get out of there. And a little, little, as time goes on, you just feel jacked and you're just, you're just, your acuity, your energy. Uh, and then when you work out, you're going to know, my God, I don't feel sore. And then when I work out like a week, if I miss it for a week or two, I notice a difference. So I think it has a lot of positive benefits and uh, it's something I highly recommend you look into. I think it's uh, for your overall health and well-being, your immune system and healing I don't think you can go wrong from all the data out there. There's still more data and trials that need to be done, but this might be something you'd want to add to your protocol. Hyperbaric chamber, number seven of my 44 pearls. Take